With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Well, hello students. Now we're going to see this question. The question says that the horizontal and vertical displacements X and Y of a projectile are given at time t as x is equal to 60 and y is equal to 8t minus uh, 5t square meters okay the range of the projectile is in meters is so now what we can do basically we need to find the range so firstly we are going to have to find out uh, what is the time traveled by the projectile so we are going to solve this equation okay so we are going to solve this equation for when okay for uh, if we put y if i will show you one diagram by a diagram i'll make you understand what i am trying to do over here so if you see let's suppose this is the uh, x axis and this is the y axis okay so now the our projectile is basically starting from the origin suppose like this okay let's suppose it's like this so it will be there will be a horizontal component and there will be a vertical component of this velocity okay so there will be this uh, one horizontal component just like this and there will be one vertical component just like this okay so these are the two components okay so over here it's given that this components are basically this and this okay means they basically the components are x is equal to uh, 60 basically this is the position component and y is equal to 8t minus 5t square so if you see properly the projectile will execute somewhat motion like this right so at x is equal to 0 basically y is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 this is y is equal to 0 uh, the x axis is basically called y is equal to 0 so the projectile is coming two times one is at this point which is 0 comma 0 which is origin and one is at this point which is somewhat 0 comma y okay so basically 0 basically it will be x comma 0 not 0 comma y because over here x component is something but y component is 0 so you understand that this vector means uh, component of uh, means uh, vec vertical component you see will come where it will come at 0 at that time it will be basically the time of flight so we are going to put y is equal to 0 in which one answer we are going to get as 0 of 40 so basically i am showing you what we are doing just to make a clear picture so y is equal to is given 8t minus 5t square so 8t minus 5t square so what i'm uh, trying to do over here is that i am putting it as zero so i'll find where y comes zero so y will come zero at two point i showed you one is this one is this this is basically t is equal to zero at the start of the thing and this is basically the end of flight okay so we'll have t as common and we'll have 8 minus 5t is equal to 0 of course so we'll have t will be equal to 0 comma basically there are two solutions for this 8 by 5 okay so 8 by 5 is basically this is basically the time of flight time of flight so why did i find this time of flight if i put it in this x equation the value of t i will get the value of range okay why because the tra the distance traveled by during this time of flight in the x direction will be this okay and this is basically range okay so after drawing the graph we will get a we got a clear vision that range will be equal to basically uh, we will put it in that equation which is 60 60 and t we will put from here okay so we'll put 6 into 8 by 5 which will be equal to 8 times 6 is basically 48 divided by 5 so after doing the uh, solution we'll get 9 point basically uh, 5 nines are 45 so we'll get a 9 over here and basically we'll get a 6 so 9.6 meters is basically the range of the projectile so our answer is option number a got it this is our answer okay thank you so much for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today